I'm Dr. Patrick Anderson of Madison Maximize Living. Just about everyone is concerned with the toxins they're exposed to, but feel overwhelmed with where to even start on minimizing toxins. Toxins have been linked to numerous health conditions, including dementia and cancer. This week's show will highlight areas of exposure to be concerned about, along with examples of cleaner, safer products. Join co-host Stacey Hansen and myself as we minimize toxins and maximize tox outs. Coming up next, stay tuned. And welcome back to Maximize Living with Dr. Patrick Anderson. Today's episode is entitled, entitled very cleverly, Toxin Talks Out. We're talking about toxins today. So we're hearing a lot about toxins seem to be all around us. How concerned should we really be? Well, we really should be. In fact, it's enough of a concern that we put it as one of our five essentials. We're maximizing our mind, maximizing our nervous system, maximizing our oxygen and, and uh, fitness and we're maximizing our quality of nutrition, but we want to minimize our toxins. And the challenge is, it's, there's so much all around it. Many people practically just give up and do what everybody else does, and they don't realize how many things we're really exposed to that cause uh, cancer. Uh, it's been estimated as high as, uh, some places will say as much as 80% of cancer is related to the toxins that you have in your body and your ability to, inability to handle all of them. So where are some of the general areas I would say that this is coming from? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of categories and this, this is one of those uh, shows that it's not a feel-good show necessarily until we start showing you solutions that make you feel better <laughs> and detoxify your body. It doesn't feel good to hear all the exposures because it's a bit overwhelming. It's kind of terrifying. Yeah, and, but you look at what we, we didn't have the chemicals 50 years ago that we have today. We don't, and you know, so what some of the categories are uh, cosmetics and personal care products. So fragrances alone have uh, 250 different chemicals in them. And one of those, you know, makes you think whatever yeah. you put on your body goes into your, into your body. They don't use the natural oils as much as yeah. they used to and, anymore. And many yeah. of the, the hair products, the foundations, the uh, skin care, the lotions, there's, there's uh, products, chemicals in there that are really not meant to be in your body and they go right into your bloodstream. And so they upset your system, they you know, set your hormone balance, they can cause inflammation, they can uh, lead to cancer. So we really want to be more aware of what you put in your body through food, around your body, and what you put in your body through air. Um, most of the products, personal care products, have 10 to 15 different chemicals in them. And you know, that's a lot of different things. So yeah. the average lady has several hundred chemicals she's getting exposed to every, every day. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, food preservatives and additives. The, the, we eat, uh, interestingly enough, we eat about 2,000 pounds of food. I might eat a little more per year. I might eat a little more than you do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You'd be surprised. <laughs> but in, in, included in that are uh, uh, chemicals called grass, generally regarded as safe, and pesticides and additives and things like that. We eat about 10 pounds of preservatives and additives uh, every year. And this word generally kind of regarded scares me safe. too, generally regarded. Well, here's the challenge is, is that who decides if they're safe? Well, actually our current system allows the company producing them to decide if they're safe and make recommendations. Oh. It's the oversight, I don't believe, is what it should be or could be. Right, that is And so it's, it's really more of beware for yourself and your family. Um, another area is cooking and cleaning supplies. Look at some of the chemicals we're using in cleaning supplies. And towards the end of the show, hopefully we'll go through some substitutes that you can feel a little better about yeah. this stuff by having good, yes. good substitutes. But uh, cooking, uh, you know, we've got your uh, Teflon pans. Right. And there are birds that are dying from the fumes from Teflon pans. And then you're eating from it. Yeah, especially if they're flaky. If anyone has a flaky Teflon pan, get rid of that yesterday because you're, you're getting that into your body. Oh and uh, uh, household products. Uh, there's so many different things we use uh, uh, on a daily basis uh, that we're exposed to in our furniture, in our carpeting, the things we use. Uh, if we're washing our hair, um, our tap water, 
is, is, is not as clean as you think and there are places that will test your tap water and it's a good idea. Get your tap water tested and see what you're drinking. So a lot of people nowadays are really drinking bottled water and you also have to be a little concerned about if you have a BPA free bottle or if it was right, in the sunlight it's before plastic, you. plastic, right? Yeah, because that, that leaches, plastic leaches. So I told you you weren't going to feel good about this, <laughs> this show necessarily when you really look at all the exposures. But it really is everywhere but we're going to try to bring it up a little bit after the break. Have your questions for Dr. Pat answered on an episode of Maximize Living. Email Dr. Pat at CW57.tv. And welcome back to Maximize Living with Dr. Patrick Anderson. We're talking tox in, tox out today, trying to get those toxins out of your body. But before we can do that, we need to understand where they're coming from. We talked a little bit before the break about some mm -hmm. of them. The last one we said was tap water. Um, what are some of the other ones? Well, uh, air pollution, uh, we're all familiar with that. And uh, the things we breathe in, the chemicals in the air, there's ozone alerts to stay out because the, the air isn't safe safe enough to breathe. So uh, those are big deals, uh, you know. And indoor air is actually considered about five times more toxic than outdoor air because of all the chemicals and off-gassing that, that we get. Even your, your laundry detergent, uh, you know, off-gasses, uh, volatile organic compounds get into your house, either what you use in your uh, washing, in your um, dishwasher. So it's really a move to go to cleaner, safer products. Uh, and get away from the toxic load that we have. Uh, we mentioned the pesticides and the herbicides. Roundup is, is uh, used uh, massively and it's well known to cause uh, uh, issues with health and it's a suspected carcinogen by the World Health Organization. Um, so there are substitutes we can use. We'll talk more about that. Another one is drugs. We're, drugs are foreign to our bodies. Our bodies try to break them down, but you do. Many people do get problems with toxicity levels from the drugs, and they, they can damage their kidneys and their liver. Uh, even the uh, NSAIDs, the non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, over the counter. Uh, Tylenol is well known to be uh, very toxic at higher levels, and the acetaminophen can. Um, be difficult, uh, ibuprofen I should say, is uh, challenging uh, for long term on the kidneys. In fact, about 17% uh, of people on dialysis today are from over-the-counter medications. Oh wow. Because they, they overuse them. So it's just a real concern. Another one is heavy metals, mercury in your, in your fish, and mercury in your teeth. If you still have amalgam fillings, that's the number one cause of high mercury levels. And mercury has been implicated in Alzheimer's and the brain diseases. Wow, so people should really yeah. get those removed. And then we're looking at biotoxins like mold. Mold get you know, behind the walls and into your house and you're breathing that in and about one in four people are really, really sensitive to mold. Wow, so it's really, it's all around us. I mean, I guess I have to ask is can we even be, can we expect to avoid these, most of them? If, can we avoid all of them? You really can't uh, avoid them all. We've, we've done some damage to our environment. Luckily, many things that, um, uh, over time can improve, but some of these things are still showing up from the 60s and 70s in our foods that got banned. Uh, oh, no. in fields uh, uh, for the chemicals that were used. So no, it's, it's a problem. But what we can do is really look at enhancing our own bodies. Uh, through uh, improving our own detoxification systems. So how do you know then if you if you are toxic, if you're at risk for some of these things we've talked about? Well, there's a little questionnaire I'll buzz through here okay. that I think will be helpful. Okay. Um, do you store your food in plastic containers? Do you eat non-organic meat or dairy? Give yourself a plus or a minus here. Do you use a microwave? That one hurts. Do you use Teflon or non-stick cookware? Do you use personal care products that aren't organic? Do you drink city water? Do you eat processed foods and drinks? Do you use non-organic natural household cleaning supplies? Do you have silver fillings in your mouth? That one keeps coming back. Maybe remember when people used to get a lot of amalgam silver fillings, uh, but the mercury leach, leaking, uh, leaching into the system is really quite high with that. Wow. So if you have those, it's, it's a good idea to get those taken out, most dentists say. Wow, and I'd imagine there's a lot of people that are thinking, well, I've got a few of those, because like using the microwave, you know, it's just, it's, it's so common. It's really common, but you think about it, the plastic, now you hear, well, don't microwave the plastic, and then you think about the container it's in, what chemicals are in there, and when you heat it up, 
uh, that, that can leach into the food itself and then the actual energy of the microwave may very well upset the enzymes and uh, um, make the uh, food less viable, less healthy. But that's debated. So, yeah, so much to talk about with this. Well, right after the break, we're going to get into a little bit more about toxicity. Have your questions for Dr. Pat answered on an episode of Maximize Living. Email Dr. Pat at CW57.tv. And welcome back to Maximize Living with Dr. Patrick Anderson. We're talking about getting those toxins out of your body and out of your life. Uh, we just talked about some of, the, some of the things that you can ask yourself to find out if you're toxic. It's kind of scary. I think a lot of us had a few, at least a few of them. What are some of the symptoms of being toxic? Yeah, uh, well, headaches, fatigue, uh, depression uh, are common with that. Allergies, asthma, weight loss resistance. Many people are toxic. Uh, and they have a hard time losing weight. So the systems are just off kilter from the toxins and disrupt it, and they, it makes it difficult to lose the weight. Uh, focus issues, sleeplessness is a real common one too. People don't sleep well, they're just toxic. Uh, hormonal imbalances, and then we look at thyroid issues, thyroid imbalances, cancer. Um, but one more practical is body odor. People who are toxic have more body odor. So if you think by the end of the day you're smelling worse than you should, or you have bad breath, or foul stool, you probably are toxic and switch your diet, start doing some positive things as we'll go through next. So our bodies, you've said, detoxify themselves. What are some of the systems and organs that do that? How does that happen? Yeah, the body naturally detoxifies itself. The skin through sweat. The skin is the largest organ in the body and so as you uh, um, sweat, you do it through breathing. We breathe out toxins as well. Uh, through our colon and through stool. So there's really seven systems, kidneys through urine, liver is always breaking down uh, products and, and working to get rid of that, so we want to make sure the liver is not uh, lower functioning. Uh, your lymphatic system is kind of like a blood system in a sense, but it's, it's a, a, a completely unique circulatory system that moves toxins out of your body. And one of the things that enhances that is exercise and movement. Get your lymph moving to clean and detoxify your body. And then having less fat cells or less is having less storage places for toxins. So as you lose weight, uh, you, you're not able to hold as many toxins because many toxins are held in fat. Oh, good to know. So there's, there's lots of reasons for losing that extra weight. So if you're seeing yourself in some of these things, what are some of the best ways that people then can try to detoxify themselves? Yeah. Does that, make better choices? You know, one of us is drink more water. Simple. 75% of people are dehydrated. So how are they going to get the toxins out of their system? How is their body going to work right when they're dehydrated? So uh, again, half, a, uh, half your body weight in ounces of water every day. Uh, sweat more. Sweating is a great detoxifier. It gets, works right through your system and out of your system. Infrared saunas are wonderful for that. They work deeper than the average sauna. Cardio. Get exercise. Get the system working and everything enhances and flushes, flushes your system. Increase fiber. We, most Americans get about a third the amount of fiber that they really need. And by the way, fiber feeds the probiotics in your intestines. It's the food for them. They want, they want that good fiber. Um, and actually another way is fasting. There are different kinds of fasts, whether you go without food or you just do a vegetable fast. But fasting lets your body detoxify better because it's not spending so much energy uh, digesting food. So there are a lot of things that people can yeah, sort of take yeah. control and, and Start do. taking control. Our body's amazing at detoxing. We're just putting so much in and maybe we need to follow more of the rules that, uh, than methods the body already has available for us. Yeah, your poor body can only take so much yeah. before and it's... And then it starts to scream. <laughs> like, <enough laughs> Almost <of> literally. <laughs> yeah, which is pretty scary. So there are some supplements too that you say are helpful in yes. detox. Yes, we use um, vitamin C has been very helpful in detoxifying, uh, keeping that level up. Uh, B complex is good for hundreds of different mechanisms in, in the mechanisms in the body. So B complex is um, helpful. Uh, just any vegetable and fruit tends to be detoxifying to the body, as it cleanses the colon, as a fiber cleanse and scrubs the colon, um, and the antioxidants uh, help. Uh, potassium and magnesium, probiotics help balance your body and then functions better and uh, better elimination. We use a supplement in the office called Daily Detox. 
and it's a two-part system. One uh, helps boost the glutathione system in your body, which is great for brain and liver detoxification. Uh, and the second part of that is our activated charcoal. So once those circulating toxins are freed from the intracellular level, uh, they can be taken from the body and removed through activated charcoal. So uh, daily wow. detox is an awesome system. Well, great. We'll have more on better choices right after this. Have your questions for Dr. Pat answered on an episode of Maximize Living. Email Dr. Pat at CW57.tv. Welcome back to Maximize Living with Dr. Patrick Anderson. We're talking about getting those toxins out of your life and out of your body. This is the most uplifting segment of this show, I think. We're going to talk about how you can make some better choices, how you can apply this to your life and start getting that out of your body. Right. We, we talked about uh, daily things you can do with uh, workouts and drinking more water and sweating. Uh, and we talked about some supplements that are helpful, but what are the, you know, those things you can really change, I think are really important because that's the meat and potatoes of it. What, what should you get out of your life and put new into your life? And it's, it's, a, it's a process, it doesn't happen overnight, uh, but it also can be almost a sport where you just say, oh, I'm gonna clean up the next level. So uh, it, the key is just to get started. So you know, one of the first things is um, changing antiperspirant to a deodorant because antiperspirant, the chemical aluminum hydroxide is in there, is highly toxic to the body and it absorbs right through the axillary area. Uh, and the, this, that's not good for your body. We get too much aluminum. And also with aluminum, not using aluminum cookware. Imagine you making a, 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 a tomato sauce and aluminum, the acid, pulling the aluminum Ooh. from the pan into the solution and you're eating that. Right. And aluminum is also shown to have an affinity and affect the brain. So you really want to be aware of those things. It's almost kind of maddening that we didn't learn these things a long time ago and, and had these exposures. But luckily there are ways of chelating and, and the procedures we're talking about to help get this stuff out of your body. Uh, tap water is another one. Uh, we want to get just, most people are kind of thinking twice about drinking their tap water these days, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, so a filtered water, a house filtration system perhaps, um, or a bottled water be excellent. Uh, canned foods, uh, yeah, you know, we talked a little bit about the uh, bisphenol A, BPA in the canned foods in the uh, water bottles. Um, I think the only thing I can say about canned food is try not to eat any canned food. You're just better off eating fresh. You might have to go to the grocery store an extra time, but you're much better off. You know, um, Artificial sweeteners. Uh, there's so many of them I, I just, uh, that are so harmful to your body. We know that the aspartame uh, causes uh, insulin reaction in your body, driving glucose into your cells so you get hungrier and you eat more when you, when you have the artificial sweetener. Yeah, there may be no calories in that uh, soda, a can of soda, uh, but it drives, up your, it drives your blood sugar down because of the uh, insulin reaction and then you're eating more. So just uh, in sugar, isn't all that good for you either. So there's some natural sweeteners like stevia or there's a, a, a sugar alcohol called xylitol that's in plants, that, that's, that's helpful as well. Um, cleaning products is another area. Uh, you think about the things you rub on your counter, read the labels. If you can't pronounce it, there's probably something wrong. Read a, read a bottle of vinegar, what does it say? White vinegar. Right. It's, it's, that's all there's in it and that, that can be used as a cleaning solution. Uh, essential oils are good. Uh, Young Living has a product called Thieves and it just smells good like cloves when you're using it to clean. And oh. actually I really like it. It's a, it's a good product. So essential oils can be a wonderful replacement for a lot of things. The same thing to do with scented candles. You, you really want those chemicals that you're smelling being in and out of your lungs constantly it's harmful to you. Mm -hmm. So essential oils, there's even uh, aromatic things they have to, to get the scents in, uh, into your body or into the, into the house. Roundup, you know, we all have weeds. <laughs> they could get pretty big. I think I pulled one about three feet high just yesterday because <laughs> I was gone. <laughs> but uh, again, vinegar, white vinegar works pretty well. Not perfectly, really? but it works really well to kill, I, I think. And it's much safer for your body uh, than that. Deli meats, another one. Uh, they, I've seen reports that they say deli meats aren't fit for human consumption. That's a pretty strong it's statement. It's a strong statement and they're so prevalent too. Yeah, 
But get cleaner meats. Don't have the sodium nitrite and the sodium nitrates in it. Just say no. Mm -hmm. You eat, if you can feast really well. The problem with meats and things like that is they're bioaccumulative, so it took a lot of produce that has pesticides to build that much. Well, stay with us. We'll have more on eliminating toxins right after this. Have your questions for Dr. Pat answered on an episode of Maximize Living. Email Dr. Pat at CW57.TV. Well, we certainly covered a lot about toxins that we are all exposed to. We covered ways to minimize toxic exposure as well as enhance our own body's natural detoxification systems. Getting started making changes today can make a difference not only in prevention of disease, but also improving your overall focus and energy. While minimizing toxins is one of the five essentials, the most important essential for healthy living is maximizing your nervous system. You really cannot tell if your nervous system is maximized without a chiropractic checkup. Get started today by calling 608-833-1282. For Maximize Living, I'm Dr. Patrick Anderson. Until next time, live well and God bless. Have your questions for Dr. Pat answered on an episode of Maximize Living. Email Dr. Pat at CW57.TV.